What's going on, everybody? Nico here with The Wooden Spoon. We are sat down for another episode of The Sit Down, and today I'm joined by Gina Vella. She has over 100,000 followers on TikTok, over 3 million likes, and that's pretty insane, honestly. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is yeah. really cool having me. <laughs> oh, of course. Thanks for coming on. So 100,000 followers on TikTok. How does that happen? So I like to just maybe like a backstory of it. Like when did you first download TikTok kind of? Okay. So my first TikTok that really like took off had 5 million views and it was like a fake text prank video. So it wasn't really anything Italian, but my first um, Italian TikTok that really blew up was I did five things that anger Italians and that got over, I think, 500k views and it got noticed by hardcore Italians and Matt Petito did a duet of it. Mm -hmm. So that like really helped me out. And then at the same time of that video, um, I had two other ones that was top five things that annoy people who wear glasses. And then mm -hmm. the uh, top five things uh, middle schoolers post on their Snapchat story. So all of that kind of like helped me uh, gain like a lot of followers and everything. So, but the most loyal ones were definitely the Italian ones, I gotta say. For sure. Now, what do you think? Because I'm like, I think I'm a little bit older than you, but um, so like I was in high school and like Vine was a big thing and everyone was trying to get famous on Vine and there was zero Italian content on Vine. Absolutely like, nothing. And then you get on TikTok and there's like, I feel like there's almost like this biggest showing of an Ita the Italian community is on TikTok right now. Yeah, it's literally a cult, I swear. <laughs> I feel like um, for me, I was like really inspired by, you know, like Matt Petito and Joey Nero. Like those were the first like really big Italian TikTokers I saw. And I was like, well, you know, I don't really know what kind of content to make, but I see it's working for them. So like, mm -hmm. that's kind of yeah. how I rolled with it. <laughs> yeah. So you have these videos like all pop up. What's like the first, what's like the thoughts running through your head when you like look at your notifications and you see like 99 plus or just like thousands of likes and comments. So what is it? It's so about? crazy. Cause like I always tried being, uh, you know, like blowing up on like YouTube and like I tried being famous like on everything like mm -hmm. uh, Vine, musically, nothing really worked out. So for me, like it was so crazy. And I was like, wow, like there's no way this is really happening for me. Cause like TikTok is like the first thing where I really got like recognition and stuff mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool yeah so um how long were you like posting on tiktok before you had one that just popped um well i had it like when it was musically okay. and stuff You're was, a uh, yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> i did that when i was in like sixth and seventh grade and then i took a break from it and then i posted like one or two videos um two years ago didn't really do anything with it and then I came back in October of 2019, kind of took a break after like that video that had 5 million views. I just mm -hmm. like took a break. And then February is when I started posting like kind of regularly. And then especially with like quarantine and everything. Yeah, I know I was talking about it on another episode. It's like, we all thought there'd be like less competition to like post yeah. and then everybody kind of flooded TikTok. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. And it makes it harder though. Cause like my video, I feel like I'm creating so much content that like would have blown up uh, like five months ago, but now cause it's so like saturated and everyone's kind of copying each other now. So it's hard to like get out in front of everyone. Yeah, I, I see that for sure. For sure. So what did oh, you yeah. think like when it almost got shut down? Like, even like recently, it's like been a thing like for the past couple of months, like every other day, TikTok's been banned. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's literally a roller coaster. I'm like, I don't know. I'm scared because I don't know. I have like really nothing else to do. Like, I don't really have like a large following on anything else. So this is like the only place that like I create like content for like a lot of people, which is, it makes it so much like more fun because, you know, when you're getting the interaction, it's different than like when you're getting no interaction. Like it doesn't really motivate you as much. So for sure, um, for sure. What are some yeah. ways, I know the hardest thing to break through, at least for me, is getting all of my followers from TikTok to YouTube or to Instagram. It's so hard to do that. Yeah, it's really hard. I feel like part of it's because TikTok is just like a giant like comedy like thing. I feel like I feel like Instagram is more like serious type of like you're just trying to look good all the time, and then mm -hmm. YouTube is like it's just like not the same as TikTok. Like I feel like it's so much easier to get TikTok followers, but anything else is like... I think part of it's like an age thing too. The TikTok audience is so young. It's like yeah. not really on Instagram or anything, like let alone Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I'm not even on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So what are some other ways that, um, you like hope to be like in the future? Like, do you like plan on growing like a YouTube channel or? Um, you know, I'm not really sure, like maybe in the future, but it's not really something I've like thought about. I kind of just, I really, really like TikTok, but when it dies, I don't really see like taking it anywhere else. I mean, it'd be cool yeah, if I could see, like, somehow. Eventually dying in the future? I think it will, just cause like it blew up so quick with like quarantine. I feel like just like the same way it blew up, it's gonna like just die out maybe like next year or something, but maybe the next thing will come out like Triller. Yeah, that's true. I see. I mean, we're thinking about getting on Twitch and everything like that, too. Cause, yeah, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that, too. Yeah. So, I mean, even, like, backstory behind that, like, where are you from? Like, what do you what do? You do? Like, uh -huh. tell the audience a little bit about you. All right. So, I'm from Jersey. And, where about um, Jersey? I'm in South Jersey. So, mm -hmm. it kind of sucks because there's not, like, as many Italians in South Jersey as there is, like, in North Jersey. And I'm originally – well – you know, I lived in like North and Central Jersey until I was like three years old. So I didn't really know much about it, but I just know that there's a lot more Italians there. Like I got a lot more family up there than like here. And um, so it's harder to like, you know, relate to a lot of people by me because it's not like the same, but um, what else? Yeah, so are you in school? Do you have a, like, what do you... What do you do oh, yeah, so besides TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm in college right now. I'm in community college for now, but I want to, um, when the online stuff's over, I want to try and transfer over to FIT in New York for oh, fashion. Fun. Yeah, but I definitely want to wait till like the online stuff's over because I don't really, even, it's so funny. Like I'm so involved in like online stuff, but it's harder for me to like learn online. I know, that's a problem. I was, I have got a two year degree from a community college. And I think that's like, if I, there's any young people listening, like that's almost like the smartest thing you could do because I, oh, yeah. I don't have any debt from my community college. I have a business administration degree. I actually got into NYU to study real estate. Oh, wow. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't end up going, but um, it, I would have had the same degree as anybody who went to NYU for four or five years for half the cost. Exactly, exactly. Anybody that's why I'm going to. Yeah, anybody's listening, <laughs> community college is not a bad idea at all. <laughs> You could always transfer somewhere better. So, like, what's in the game plan for you then? You're, are you, like, into fashion, like, designing? Like, what routes did you want to go with that? Yeah, so I'm into, like, the business end of it, too. So I'm thinking, like, maybe uh, fashion business management because I like, you know, like, the management feel. But I also definitely want to be, like, hands-on and, like, designing stuff because I feel like I really have, like, a creative type of, like, mind. Mm -hmm. So I like to, uh, you know, put things together. I'm not the best at like literally sewing and everything, but like I can come up with ideas. Do you think we'll see a Gina Bella t-shirt um, <laughs> soon or? I hope so. That would be cool. <laughs> I think that's like one of the easiest businesses. To it's definitely one of the hardest businesses is selling merch, mm -hmm. but um, it's that one of the easiest businesses to start up. You can get a Shopify store for three months free and drop ship. That's really cool. I might look into that soon. <laughs> that's really cool. Well, if you ever need help, we, that's how we do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So how's quarantine been treating you? What have you been doing to stay busy? All right. So this is really funny. I was stuck in Florida for two months <laughs> during quarantine. Um, it was all right. Cause all I did was I stayed up till like 4am every day making TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, when I came back from there, then I spent all summer, like three months of summer with my cousins in Seaside. So that was really cool because there's a lot of Italians there. So I was able yeah. to get what a lot of inspiration. Hugs like for people who've never been there? Like, is, how does it compare to like seeing the Jersey Shore on TV <laughs> and then actually being there? I've that's actually never seen like, Jersey Shore. I, that's, wow, really? Really? <laughs> I watched the uh, the double shot of love with uh, Polly D and Vinny, but <laughs> that's yeah. I don't know. I think it's um when it came out, it was so crazy. Everybody hated them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I take things for like what I see. I just thought it was just a funny show, and it was just oh yeah hilarious and obnoxious all at the same time. Oh okay. yeah, they're like iconic now. Like Paulie D is he's everywhere now. <laughs> okay, they're funny. So is it is it as crazy as it, like the TV shows make it out to be, or is it just like, kind of relaxing, just like boardwalk? No. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's definitely like pretty chill. Like I was expecting, you know, when you go on the boardwalk, like you're expecting it to be like that all like party all the time like they had. And it, it's not like that. Like it's really chill. I feel like there's honestly like a lot of like really young people there, um, like younger than me. So it wasn't um, like what I thought it would be at all. Yeah. And I saw you post in um, on Instagram in Lake George. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so um, funny because um, my whole my family has a cottage in Lake George. I thought that was. Oh fun. no way! How'd you, like, how'd you like Lake George? It's so fun. Um, it's cool because my dad he used to go there all the time when he was younger. Like that was like their summer vacation because mm -hmm. he used to live in New York, uh, Queens, Long Island, and then he lived in Jersey. But he um, that was like their getaway. Like they would go to upstate New York, visit their um, uncle and aunt. And so it's kind of cool how he kind of had that tradition when he was younger and we're trying to start it like now with my family. Yeah, that's one of, that's like my favorite place to go like on the earth. It's just so relaxing and awesome. It's so chill. Everyone's so nice. It's a lot different than uh, here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's crazy just like how just a couple miles of separation is so different. Like you look at the city and then just like three hours north, it's just like country almost <laughs> like you're in the south exactly. it's like you don't even like realize it's the same new york <laughs> like you'd never think that's true, that's true. Um, i talked to somebody before they were um a politician and they had a bill proposed to split up new york state into three <laughs> different states and keep new york city something else i think long island would be something else or to a certain point and then the rest of like upstate New York would be its own thing. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Western New York, like Buffalo, Niagara Falls area. And it's, oh, it's, gotcha. it's basically a different state. It's not, it's nothing like New York city. At all. Oh yeah. I mean, nothing's really like New York city anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's like regions near me that are, you're, you might as well be in like Texas. They're just crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah. It's crazy. But like back to TikTok. So are you part of the creator fund? Yeah. I just joined it. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's like one. Of, I think that's like one of the cool things that might keep TikTok alive a little bit mm -hmm. longer than like Vine per se, because people are like making more money. I guess. Yeah, it's, it's cool. cool. It's um, it's like a cool concept. I think they just have to like work it out a little bit more because I've talked to a lot of people and me myself. I noticed that it kind of like suppresses like video views a little bit. So like I would make more money getting like a sponsorship from an outside person than like mm -hmm. maybe getting money off TikTok. So I'm kind of honestly, even though I just joined it, I made a little bit, like nothing crazy, but- yeah, I think I made like 20, uh, 20 bucks. That's, yeah, like that's literally what I made too. And it's like, I, I don't know, I feel like I can make more just getting off that and getting more views to attract more like sponsorships, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. It for sure makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I, had I had a thought and I lost it. But like, what do you think about like, because people like Bella Porch that like, totally make all their money doing creator funds. Oh, yeah. That's insane to me. Like, if you can, if you can like make a living off it, like do it by all means. But if when you're first starting off, it's like harder to mm -hmm. get that. Yeah, what do you think about like someone like Bella Porch? Because I think she like came out of nowhere. Like I didn't, I'm not like huge following a ton of people on TikTok. I guess I'm not like really immersed in that world. I just, mm -hmm. I follow my like select people and then yeah. kind of make something. But like someone coming out of nowhere like that and then probably yeah, I'm kinda like dollars a day on TikTok. Yeah, um, I'm kind of like the same way. Like I kind of just follow like my select people. I kind of, um, I have my exclusive, like I try to, I stay kind of like on Italian TikTok most of the time um but I do like I do see other creators like Bella Porch and I think it's really cool that she um like just came out of nowhere like that's really cool that someone could just because a lot of people like me like I put a lot of effort into my videos I make videos like all the time like three times a day and stuff like that so it's crazy like how someone could just like post one video and be like you know making a living off of it it's really it's cool though it's a cool like thing that you couldn't do a few years ago. It's a new way that you can make money. For sure, for sure. Now, what do you think, like, cause like I've put like, I put hours into like one TikTok sometimes just for it to, just for it to absolutely flop. So what do you think's like the key to making like a successful TikTok? Is it timing? Is it content? Is it? I can't even tell you, I don't even know. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like it's, mostly just luck I don't know like because I'm like oh this video like 
it's the videos that you don't think are going to do good that blow up and it's the ones that you put so much effort into that kind of just like flop most of the time so there's been yeah. one one time i made a tiktok and i knew it was going to go viral out of like yeah. the hundreds i posted i've known one was going to go viral and it did mm -hmm. we did That's um, really a video about like the black book keeping track of like how much people give you at weddings or birthdays oh yeah and maybe one that, really that, that got like a couple hundred thousand likes that wow. the That's only good. instance where i knew that one was gonna go viral mm -hmm. have you had any like that the one that you made um i think it was when you're going on a date or something like that oh yeah i felt you, like you had to know that one was gonna go viral yeah because you know what it was i caught that trend really early mm -hmm. i think that's like key for most things is like before uh trend like reaches people like noah beck and like charlie like if you can hop on them that's when it's gonna like you're gonna get the most traction from it mm -hmm. so what do you think about like people like charlie noah beck like like all these different houses that pop up which i don't mm -hmm. even get how they afford these houses i'm sure it's an outside sponsorship but mm -hmm. <laughs> have you ever been approached for a, an italian hype house or anything like that um no <laughs> i wish that would be really really cool though to like get one together i know that would be fun to get the Jersey Shore house and make it the Italian hype house. Oh my gosh. And hopefully we don't get kicked out of it like Nelk Boys. <laughs> they got kicked out of it? Yeah. Because yeah, like they had 3,000 people show up. Oh my God. You know what? My brother was telling me something about that. I didn't, I don't pay attention that well. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Cool. Somebody that else would be talking. really, really cool. Yeah. So what's it, what's the future looking like for you? I mean, like with um, create, like creator wise and TikTok wise. The next um, couple months, you think? I'm gonna keep making videos. Um, I have a lot of things like already planned to do. Um, I probably am gonna have a lot of like collabs coming soon. I've made a lot of um, Italian TikTok friends recently, so expect some collabs soon. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Well, if you ever want to collab with us too, we're on the way. yes, of course, that'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, I think that's it for me, but thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I really appreciate it. And where could everybody find you online, like all over the place? All right. So my Instagram is Gina.Vello and my TikTok is just Gina Vella. Perfect. Awesome. Well, everybody go follow Gina. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Um, everybody, everybody else, subscribe to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, anywhere you could find it. Um, WoodenSpoonStore.com for all your merch. And shout out, for, um, shout out to Marco um marco's from marco's buffalo marco's um sub shop for hooking me up with the sandwich shirt copying the spaghetti a little bit but uh shout out to him so if you're in buffalo niagara falls go check him out but um see you guys in the next episode thanks